got this big bugger chucked up. This is one of the ones I just cut last past week. And uh, what all I'm going to do is shape the outside. That's all I'm doing. This is, uh, this is to get this thing ready for coring. And uh, since I bought my new coring, uh, one-way coring jig, um, I want to give it a shot. And this is going to, um, I just want to get, get some of these uh, bull blanks to a state where I can move on to the next step. I will, I'm going to uh, shape the outside and then I'm going to reseal it with anchor seal. Hello everyone, Mike Brels from Brels with Woodworks. Thank you for joining me back on my channel. I do appreciate it. Today, I am going to give my first shot at my new one-way coring jig. I've been, I've had this for a couple months now and I've been dragging my feet because all I got was the 11 inch uh, knife set, even though I've ordered also the nine inch and the 13 inch but same as everyone else one way is having trouble sourcing things and so I've been forced to wait but I've got some shows coming up and I need to get started on some large my larger bowls I've sold out of most of what I've got and I gotta build up my stock so with that said I'm gonna get started with what I got and you're gonna see me give this a shot uh, for the first time, I haven't used this yet, and so uh, it could be comical. So keep watching. So here we go. So I've got, uh, I still have to unpack uh, the rest of what I got. I got the base plate here with the stand for the guide and for the blade. So I'm going to cut this open and see what else I got in here. Time to change this blade. Okay, so first off, I got the cutter. Um, yeah, the 11 inch cutter. I got the guide. I got the appropriate uh, uh, ways block that will hold it to my lathe. I've got an American, robust American Beauty, and this is two and a half, and we'll fit that. I got the base plate, 
I've got the three quarter inch wrench that comes with it, the handle, and Allen screws. I've also got the lock nuts down here, little cutter head, and a little tiny Allen wrench. So, and a push pin. I haven't found out what that's for yet. Any rate, so uh, one of the first things they said to do is to loosen up the, the blade support, uh, the knife support, and turn it around so that this pointed side is pointed towards the lathe. So I've got to loosen these up and take this off. So that's done. I'm going to loosen up the guide the support. Swing it a little bit out of the way. Just crank that up a little bit. All right. So next, I'm going to take off this shipping um, washer that it's got here, and and they don't provide. Allen wrench for that. I gotta go find a proper Allen wrench. Okay. Now put the cutter tip on the knife. The cutter tip is carbide. Apparently, looks like maybe. Any rate, but it's grooved. It's got these these grooves in there, and there's a corresponding groove on the knife head so that it can only sit on there one way. All right. So let's go see if we can put it on the lathe. So we've got my base plate. I'm gonna put it on here and put my clamp block in. on there. Let me go get the knife set. Alright, so here's where I find out whether I am going to need to buy some kind of uh, shim to go in here to raise this up because this is a 25 inch swing lathe and this set is the 24 inch set which is uh, the corresponding one, the closest one I get for this and uh, I've all the literature I said said this will work on the one way um, I'm not sure if I have to put some kind of some kind of device into or something kind of shim to raise this up more let's see if the, the screw will do enough out an awfully long way I may choose to find a shim for in there is the lock nut you put it on there hold it in place So I did put a shim in there. I found a brass fitting that fit down in there. Gave me exactly what I need. Now I'm exactly where I need to be. So now I'll take this out and I'll lock this lock nut down, which that's not the right size. Double check that again. Yep, on the money. 
So I'm not going to ever have to mess with this again because I'm not going to use this on any of the lathe but this one. So I'm good to go. Alright, so I still got to lift the support up enough for it to fit. It's a little too high. Double check, make sure nothing moved. I think we got it. Okay, so what I wanted to do, I want a bowl, the bottom bowl thickness to be an inch and three quarters because I'm twice turning these. So I've taken a measurement from the outer rim of my jaws to where the cutter is. And right now it's at about two, it's about two inches. I want inch and three quarters. So, when I did that, I then took a measurement from my headstock to the base plate, which gave me a distance of 14 and 3 quarters. So, I've taken a board, cut it to 14 and 3 quarters, stick it in here, and then put it up tight. What that then gives me is this locks this in place, and it's repeatable, and it will be an inch and 3 quarters in the center. So, then I will tighten this down. Board aside, and I'll be ready to go. So now I'm going to mount my bowl and uh, bowl blank, and we're going to start coring the first one. All right, so I had to back up a step. I have to uh, have to flatten out the face of this bowl blank first, and then I can mount the coring jig back on and then we can proceed from there so let me get this flattened out got the top flattened got my tool rest out of the way now I can move the I can remount the coring tool the finger and the cutter blade
Now this is the first time for me, so we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to move the finger up so the post is supporting it for the initial cut. tailstock up and give it added support. Take the tools, rest off. Okay, so I've got everything mounted, I believe, the way it's supposed to be. I'm going to give my first cut, the first shot. Um, I'm holding the bull blank on with the tailstock. Sometimes best to use both belt and suspenders, so here we go. I'm going to try to keep it down to slower speed. I do believe that I want to now put the finger assembly into the hole, into the groove, and get it started. You don't want to, of course, you don't want to bind it up. The object is to add support. Move the fingers in a little bit more.
This might be the end of uh, last adjustment, but I might go just a little bit more. I don't know. We'll see. first core I'm pretty happy with that all right I'm gonna put some anchor seal on this and I'm calling it quits for tonight this bowl is ready to go this one's ready to go and be uh, dried out I'll probably anchor seal them then throw them out into my kiln and that should do it Okay, everybody, thank you all for watching. Uh, again, if I had my other two knives, I probably could have, I could have stretched this one out with this one, and I could have used my smaller one and, uh, and uh, gotten a total of three bowls out of this rather than two. But uh, I called about two weeks ago, and they said it'd be two to four weeks. So who knows what that means? Could be eight weeks. Who knows? At any rate... Uh, I don't blame them. It's just a, a symptom of the times we live in. At any rate, uh, please, if you've gotten anything out of this, uh, you know, I, this is uh, my first time using this. And um, I just watched a few YouTube videos and followed their instructions, and it works just fine. Um, I'm pretty happy with this. This is going to uh, really uh, save a lot of wood chips and... Uh, and increase my production and uh, I'm pretty happy about that so if you've gotten anything out of this please click like and subscribe I'd appreciate that and if uh, if you feel at all inclined uh, to to leave a comment please do I answer every single one and as always everybody please stay safe bye bye mm -hmm.